So our next step in creating an iMovie movie project is to uh, add some effects to our video and adjust our video and audio settings. So if you put your mouse over one of your video clips, you'll notice a little blue box pops up in the bottom left portion of that clip. Simply click on that box and you get some options. You can adjust the uh, video options and audio options, for example. So let's go into video adjustments. And here we have three different options. It starts in video. And here we can adjust exposure, brightness, contrast, and saturation. So notice over here on the right is our preview uh, window. And if we drag these sliders, you can watch the change that happens to the video. So, in this example, we have a picture of a fish tank, and if we drag the saturation bar all the way to the right, it really makes the colors pop. So, for this would be the original, and then to the right, really vibrant colors. So maybe that's what we would like for an aquarium shot. If we click the audio button, we can adjust the volume of the that particular clip. Um, we can do some fade ins and fade outs. But since the the sound in this particular clip is kind of muffled and it's a lot of people talking, we're just going to uh, drag that to zero, so we don't have any of that sound anymore. In the final section, under clip, we can adjust the duration the speed of the clip we can make it go really fast or put it in slow motion and we can also add cool video effects if you click this drop down menu right here it will show you a number of effects that you can use including an aged film look a glowing look even a cartoon look so again you can put your cursor over the beginning of one of these effects, click the spacebar and it will preview the video with that effect applied. If you don't want any of these effects you can hit cancel and it returns you to the video adjustment menu. Click done and your settings have been applied. So you can do that with all of your clips. If you go into the audio adjustments it simply takes you straight to that audio section of the adjustment menu and again I'm going to drop the volume down in my video I'm going to increase the saturation to make the water look extremely blue again notice here's my original and then I drag it over and the colors really stand out click done one more time we'll do the same thing for each of these clips removing the audio and adjusting the color in the video. And this way I'm going to be able to get a look that I really uh, desire and I'm going to be able to add some other sound effects and music to make my video um, a little more personal. So notice when I adjust the saturation in this particular clip it doesn't look quite as good. Um, we don't really want it to look quite so orangish red, so we're going to leave it probably where it was, just so we can make sure we see the objects in this particular clip. So we'll click done. And now when we put our cursor over part of the, a clip and hit spacebar, we can preview our clips and now there is no sound and the colors have been adjusted to make them look a little bit different. And you can also preview your um, clips in full screen by clicking the play button right here on the left and it opens your video in full screen. Now I don't have any sound yet um, so our next set of videos are going to show how to 
uh, include some titles and transitions, as well as add some cool sound effects and music to make this aquarium video um, really fun and exciting. So go ahead and check those videos out for the next steps in the movie making process.